Hey, before I start this video, I have two words that uh, should probably apply. Trigger warning. Oh, wait, that's totally dumb. But that is the topic of this video. I'm going to talk about trigger warnings. Now, before I started recording, I looked up the term trigger warning on Google. And I'm going to read the definition that Google came back with at the top of the search results. Trigger warning. Noun. A statement at the start of a piece of writing, video, etc., alerting the reader to, or viewer to the fact that it contains potentially distressing material, often used to introduce a description of such content. On the surface, that notion sounds fairly innocuous. Uh, after all, uh, if something's going to be distressing, it'd be nice to have a warning that it's coming. Uh, you know, so, you know, it seemed reasonable. In fact, you know, we have uh, things that are fairly universally distressing, like gory uh, um, crime scenes, um, that sort of thing, or extreme violence, or what have you. And very often presenters will have a warning about just that sort of thing when when a, uh, you know, a scene like that is going to appear. And, you know, that seems to work pretty well uh, for the things that really do have a very large number of people that would be distressed by it. Uh, it works fine with TV shows on TV stations in my area where they... Uh, they have viewer discretion messages for things that are going to be violent or uh, have strong language, which apparently offends a lot of people. It doesn't offend me any, but, you know, apparently it offends a lot of people. But these messages, they even these messages have become a little bit of a joke to the point that the broadcasters themselves make jokes out of them. They have them there. And they do serve their purpose. But the broadcasters are making jokes out of them. So, uh, you know, and these are fairly tame. You know, they, they're warnings about strong language or violence or gory violence or sexual content or, um, yeah, I think that's just about, about it for most of them. <laughs> These things are just nuts because, the, you know, uh, on a lot of stations, these things appear before almost every show. Which makes them somewhat redundant, except for the fact there are shows that don't need these warnings. And, you know, they do serve a little bit of a purpose. You know, the warnings there go, okay, so... Maybe it's a little more adult content, and we don't want to traumatize children by, ha by by letting them watch it or something like that. And, you know, maybe there's something to that. And I think that's actually where these viewer discretion messages came from. Now, trigger warnings seem to be an outgrowth of that same concept. Now, again, it seems plausible as a good idea on the surface. But when you get down to it, what is distressing? What does it mean? And it's a very subjective concept. What's distressing to me is not necessarily distressing to you and vice versa. I may find it distressing to uh, observe, um, I don't know, uh, a couple of cats having a fight in the alley. You might find it funny. And I might find the fact that you find it funny distressing. Uh, you know, so it's all very subjective. So seriously, uh, do we really need to have warnings about this stuff? Uh, especially since we can't know what needs the warning. Really, we can't. All I can do is put up a warning that I find something distressing 
and that maybe you might too, or there's something I think you might find distressing. So if I think that, you know, I can give you a heads up. But that's not really a trigger warning. Uh, that's just, hey, maybe you should watch out. You might not like this. Uh, but the notion that we should always have such a warning when something might be offensive, that is the problem. I'm not saying they shouldn't be there if you think, if you, the maker of the content, thinks it should be there. Then, yeah, y y go ahead, put it in, you know. It's, it's your content. You have the best notion of what it's about. If you think it deserves a warning, then it probably does. But the notion that I, as a content creator, need to take into account the feelings of every single person that might possibly accidentally stumble across my video over the hundreds of years that it may be online, long after I'm no longer here to even know what the current prevailing attitudes are. The notion that I should be responsible for offending someone who stumbles on my video accidentally and doesn't like what I have to say. The notion that I should put a warning in because it would be offensive to that person. That's patently stupid. I have no possible way of knowing if that's going to be offensive to anybody. Actually, I do have a way of knowing. I know that absolutely everything I could possibly do will be offensive to somebody somewhere. I know that. That's people for you. There's seven billion odd people on this planet. Invariably, I'm going to say or do something that is going to offend them. Maybe it's because I'm wearing a gray sweatshirt. Maybe it's because I have a mustache. Maybe it's because my hair is too long. Uh, maybe it's because I'm speaking in English. You know, that could be it all on its own. Maybe it's because I'm, I come from a fairly privileged background compared to the vast majority of the world. That may offend some people who are even more privileged, for all I know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know who it's going to offend, but I know it's going to offend somebody. So if absolutely everything is going to offend somebody somewhere, and by extension be distressing, because most people when they're offended are distressed by that fact, if that's going to be the case, if absolutely everything anybody does is going to offend somebody somewhere, what the hell is the point of a trigger warning? Seriously. It's redundant. If you're wandering around the internet, looking at random content, watching random videos, you are going to find something that offends you. Take a look at the number of videos that are online on YouTube. It's ridiculous the number of videos. And it's ridiculous the number of views some of the videos have. And invariably, you're going to find something that offends you. Somebody is going to be saying something or doing something that you find absolutely unforgivable. Yeah, it's going to happen. So if you're going to be going around looking at random content, you need to be prepared to deal with something you don't like. You need to be prepared for that so that when it, it shows up, not if, when, you can take appropriate action. Shut the, the browser down. Walk away. Turn off your computer. Whatever. But... You have the power to stop the thing that's offending you on your computer from continuing to offend you. So, why should I bother with a trigger warning when it's redundant? Because as I said, absolutely everything will trigger somebody, right? 
and you have the power to stop watching or stop reading. Seriously. Now, it's interesting. Uh, the broader internet audience seems to be uh, understanding this notion. There's been a lot of ridicule of the notion of a tr trigger warning on various uh, fora on the intertubes. Uh, I've seen some particularly uh, uh, incisive uh, mocking of trigger warnings on the Twitter. And I've seen uh, some uh, amazing YouTube videos demolishing the notion of trigger warnings simply by adding trigger warnings. Like, seriously. But most uh, illuminating, I think, is when I searched for trigger warning to get a definition for it for this video. I got the definition that Google likes to put up right above the search results. Uh, you know, the Google dictionary thing. Uh, but the, the first actual search result is from the Urban Dictionary. Now, I'm just calling it up here so I can, I can read uh, the, selective, the selected bits to you. The main definition, the top definition on Urban Dictionary starts out saying, a phrase posted at the beginning of various posts, articles, or blogs. Its purpose is to warn weak-minded people who are easily offended that they might find what is being posted offensive in some way due to its content causing them to overreact or otherwise start acting like a dipshit. Remember, this is the Urban Dictionary, so that's the type of uh, language you can expect there. So, yeah, so uh, you know, a retroactive trigger warning, people. Uh, the word dipshit might offend you. Uh, it goes on to say it's popular on Reddit, SRS, and other places that social justice warriors like to hang out. So, odds are this definition was penned by an anti-SJW, uh, which... Okay, fine. Uh, but the social justice warriors tend to be the major purveyors of demands for trigger warnings. So, you know, there you go. Uh, it goes on to say, trigger warnings are unnecessary 100% of the time due to the fact that people who are easily offended have no business randomly browsing the internet anyways. As a result of the phrase's irrelevance, most opinions that start out with this phrase tend to be simplistic and dull since they were made by people ridiculous enough to think that the internet is supposed to cater to people who can't take a joke. Right. That's pretty hard-hitting uh, when you think about it. But... Yeah, it, uh, it does pretty much agree with my point uh, that trigger warnings are dumb and they're totally unneeded. I mean, if, it, if something's going to offend you, it's going to offend you. And me telling you that it might offend you, it's redundant. You know it might offend you. You don't know what's coming, so you don't know if it's going to offend you or not. Okay. So, trigger warnings are redundant. They're not needed. Does, does that say anything about the people that insist that they should be there? Well, maybe. But I don't know what it says, really. Some people are probably just not really understanding that it's kind of pointless because absolutely everyone is going to be offended by something that doesn't offend other people. So, uh, <laughs> if you take the arguments to the absurd conclusion that, uh, you know, the uh, logical, um, take it as far as it can possibly go, then you need to put a trigger warning on a trigger warning, because that's going to be potentially offensive, right? And, uh, yeah, uh, that, uh, 
not so good, really. Uh, now, granted, that's taking it to an extreme that doesn't make any sense. But a lot of people that have been pursuing uh, the notion of political correctness and uh, safe spaces on the internet and uh, trigger warnings and so on, they do seem to actually be heading in that direction. So, you know, it may not be so ridiculous to posit such a outcome as it sounds. But either way, if trigger warnings need, are needed for just about everything, then trigger warnings really aren't needed because they are totally redundant. So uh, my sincere opinion is trigger warnings are not needed, so I am not ever going to use a trigger warning seriously in any video I make. I may, if something is particularly nasty, uh, and I think it might be potentially problematic for who I think my audience is, all five of you, then maybe I'll put a warning in, you know, hey, heads up, you might not like this. But for something like this, me just monologuing at a camera, hey, seriously, uh, you can stop this anytime, you don't need to listen. I don't care if you're offended by something I have said. And I'm not going to come and demand that you take down your video or put up trigger warnings or whatever just because something you say offends me. Seriously. It, it, I don't have the right to not be offended by something you say. Seriously. And... That goes the other way. You don't have the right to not be offended by, by something I say. Now, let me rephrase that so it actually uh, isn't as clumsy. You don't have the right to never be offended by anything I say. And I don't have the right to never be offended by anything you say. I do have the right to be offended by anything I want to be offended by, and you also have the right to be offended by anything you want to be offended by. So, you know, if you want to be offended, go right ahead. It's your right. And even if it wasn't, who could stop you, right? Uh, thought police are ineffective. So, there you have it. Trigger warnings are dumb. And nobody should use them.